the best homemade chicken pot pie. First off, you wanna go ahead and dice up some potatoes and get them boiling. Drop a whole stick of butter into your pot, add some diced onions and minced garlic. Now slowly add some flour to your pot. We're making a roux right now. This is what's going to make your chicken pot pie nice and thick. So now slowly add your chicken broth. Don't add it all at once because you don't want it to be clumpy. You see how smooth that looks? We're doing the same thing with the heavy cream. Nice and slow. Now I'm adding some seasoned salt, some pepper. Be careful with your seasoning. You do not want to over season. Now I'm adding some adobo seasoning. Gotta have it. I'm going to be adding some shredded rotisserie chicken. This is the chicken I got from the store. You shredded it up. Next, add your potatoes. Do not overboil them. Add your peas and carrots. Throw some mushrooms on there. Add whatever you want. This is your chicken pot pie. Next, you just fold your mixture. Um, you don't want your potatoes to break down if you overboil them. All right, for the pie crust, you get you some flour and some shortening. Now you just break down the shortening into your flour until it looks like little pebbles, okay? Add some salt. Now you wanna gradually add some water. Don't wanna add too much until you get the perfect consistency. Now the consistency should look just like this. Now you just wanna keep folding your pie crust making sure everything is mixed together. You're going to want to repeat this recipe for your top crust. All right, this is the easy part. Just go ahead and flatten out your pie crust. Roll up your pie crust onto your rolling pin so you can transfer it to your pie plate. Make sure you flatten out your pie crust. Take out all those air bubbles. Now add your delicious pie filling. Fold up your second pie crust so you can easily transfer it to your pie. Make sure you lock it all up so none of your filling comes out. Add some slits so your pie can breathe. Add some egg wash to your pie crust so it can be nice and crispy. Ooh, now look at this golden brown crust. Mm. I added some coarse salt and some pepper. Now all you have left to do is to enjoy. If you enjoyed this recipe, please consider sharing to your friends and family so you guys can enjoy this at home. Peace.